Hi, right, my name is Tom Casey, and I wanted to do a quick video today on your pest control company. Basically, the purpose of this video is just to compare you uh, with one of your competitors in terms of where you guys fall out in search results when people are searching online for pest control in Mesa. Um, I'm only going to cover two factors today because I want to keep this video short, but there are a couple things I want to run by, by you and uh, discuss briefly. Uh, but before I jump into that, I want to show you how many people are searching online. Uh, for pest control in Mesa. This is a tool from Google. It actually goes out and does a count by month and gives you a monthly average of search terms. What you're looking at here is from March of this year all the way back to April of last year. So last 12 months, how many people were searching online for pest control in Mesa? Uh, it rounds it up to the nearest 10. Uh, last April was 390, 320, 480 in June, 390, Back up to 480, September and October, down at 210, back up to 390 for the last three months. So in most cases, it's well over 300. That's a lot of people searching for pest control. So I thought this would be a good exercise. So what I did is went over here to Google. On the first page, uh, right here, I did a search for pest control, Mesa. So this is page one. Let's see where I find you. You are over here. Oops, let's see. There you are. Extormador. Pest control. Mesa. AZ. You are on page four. Okay? So, again, there's just two factors I want to cover with you today. These are two factors that search engines utilize and consider when they're doing rankings. Okay? Obviously, they consider more than two, but to uh, keep this video short, we're just going to talk about two today. What I want to do is compare you with somebody on this page using those factors. And I want to see if there's any differences, and if there are any differences, if there's anything that can be done about it that will help you out and move you up in search results. So we're going to use Responsible Pest Control for comparison. And the first um, factor I'm going to talk about is something called citations, okay? Now a citation is a listing for your business in a directory site. It's a name, address, phone number listing. And I'm going to give you an example. This site right here actually goes out and finds directory sites. Here's a directory site called b2byellowpages.com, okay? If Extermidor had a listing on b2byellowpages.com, name, address, phone number, listing, that would be considered one citation, okay? Now, search engines like citations. The more, the better. They feel it makes you more legitimate as a business. Therefore, they want to make you higher than someone who has fewer citations than you do, okay? So, <clears throat> at the top of this page, we actually can do a citation count for your business. And I put you in here, and it says you have 36 citations. Okay, responsible, who we're comparing ourselves to, has 96. So, like almost three times what you have. But the good news is, we can quickly and easily get you added to these directory sites. So, this number 36 can get bumped up to 70, 80, 90 in short order. Okay, and when we do that, if we do that, you're definitely going to get a nice, positive boost in search results. Okay, so that's citations. <clears throat> the second and last uh, factor I want to talk about today, which is the most important, by the way, is something called backlinks. Now, backlink is a link to your website from another website. As an example, there was a website called mesapestcontrolsupplies.com, and on their website they had a link to extermidorpestcontrol.com, that's considered one backlink for you, okay? Search engines like backlinks even more than they like citations. Again, for similar reasons, they feel it makes you more legitimate as a business. Therefore, they want to rank you higher than someone who has fewer backlinks than you do. Now, this site right here actually does a backlink count. And the number we want to look at is unique active. So it's telling me you have eight unique active backlinks, okay? Let's go look at responsible. They have 19. Okay, so a few more than you. Um, but again, there's good news here. We can add backlinks to your site, okay? We probably can get away with adding like five to eight of them, and I'll tell you why. Um, the reason these guys are ranking is they have this 19 unique active backlinks, but this link influence score is pretty bad. Link influence score is an indicator of how strong the backlinks are that are coming into your website. And it's based on how strong the website is that's linking to you. The stronger and better the website, the higher that score is going to be. This really should be closer to 30%. So what that means for you is, say we add 5 to 8 quality backlinks 
from good quality sites, good quality websites, and get your score up to like low 30%, that would be huge for you. You would really, really jump <coughs> in the search rankings. Okay? So today we just talked about citations and backlinks. But you can see that there are differences between you and someone on that other page of Google. You're also finding out, though, that there are steps we can take to eliminate and mitigate those differences. And when we do, just with these two factors alone, give you a very nice solid boost in search rankings. All right? So I hope you found this was a little bit helpful. This is what I do for a living, but I don't charge for consulting. So if you want more information about what I talked about today, that's free. If you want me to cover other factors I do with my other customers regarding rankings, that's free. If you want me to um, review your website, that's also free. There's no cost. There's no obligation. Okay? So anyway, um, if you'd like to find out how I can help you out, go ahead and give me a call or shoot me an email and we can go from there. Have a great day. Bye now.